Welcome back to this week's video. Well, the snow here in Minnesota, it's not letting up. We got another eight inches this week, brings us to a total of three and a half, four feet on the ground. That's making finding free camping harder and harder. So this week I decided to drive an hour and 45 minutes southeast. We're gonna get on the Kettle River and I'm gonna bring you guys along with on a hike that I started last year that we never got to finish. So this hike is going to be near Banning, Minnesota. It's a town that doesn't exist anymore. It started in the 1890s because of a quarrying boom where they were getting real quality sandstone. But by the 1920s, all of that was done with. The town basically disappeared. What's left is a town called Sandstone, really close by. And this town's got a lot of the old blocks that were mined from this site. Let's see what we can find for camping in the area. First thing that I'm gonna do is go on Onyx Maps and see what we have for public lands around here. I can see we do have some forestry land, but the only problem is, is all the forestry roads are full of snow, so we're not getting in there. Let's go to our next app, freecampsites.net, see what it says. Not a whole lot. A dirt road, one to five campsites. This was reviewed February 16th. So beautiful spot on a dam site. Let's go check this out. Someone stayed there in February. So we'll see what it looks like. And says it's 30 minutes away. Let's go check it out. I should probably drop a pin on the phone because that would be a beautiful spot. Looks like it was a couple of free campgrounds that overlooked that lake. That'd be nice. Now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Now that we have internet, let's check Trucker's Path, see if we have any rest stops. So Hinkley has a quick trip. I've actually seen that one. That's a really big truck stop that they have there. So that could definitely work. There's a truck stop really close to Banning State Park and it's listed in Finlandson. And then we also have a rest stop right on I-35. Let's check out that truck stop in Finlandson. And then if that's not gonna work, we can always go to that rest stop on I-35. There's not many people here at all. This will work out all right. I do need to get fuel, so we'll go take care of that, and then this is where we're gonna call home for the night. When I do pull into truck stops, one of the main things that I look for is that I'm not gonna be taking away from a driver that may need to stop here because his logs are full. I can always keep driving, but truck drivers, when it's time to stop, it's time to stop. So I wanna make sure that I'm not taking anything away from them. And this lot here, pretty much empty. The other thing I'm gonna look for is in the morning, I have a clear shot out of here. I don't wanna be blocked in by trucks and come the middle of the night. get some lights on so it is about 10 degrees in here right now we'll get the furnace turned on it'll warm up quickly tonight no electricity we're just going to count on the batteries to get us through all night long i'll keep you guys informed with how that works now i hope to not have to start the generators or anything tomorrow morning when i start the coffee i'll just use the inverter trucks alternators we'll get her done
time to get some coffee going. So down here I got a switch where I'll turn the inverter on and I'll make sure the battery converter is shut off. I'll come up here and take a look. We've got power. I wanted to get out of here a lot earlier. I was hoping to get in that park around seven o'clock, but now we'll have to do. It's about 9.45 this morning. Sometimes the guys just gotta relax a little bit, drink some coffee and get work done. Right, let's do this. This is a pretty drive. Definitely looks different from last year. I don't even remember where the trail to go in's at. So starting here, I think first though what we'll do is we'll go down to the bolt landing, come back along. All together, we'll probably get a couple miles in today. Perfect. Last time walking through these woods, I was jumping up a lot of deer. Seems like every week, I just keep thinking, Minnesota never lets me down. I don't plan these places. Usually Friday, lunch break, that's when I start thinking, what am I gonna do for this week's video? Every week, it seems like we're able to find some place that's almost more beautiful than the next. Oh, this is awesome. So it was probably like 30 videos ago, I saw this tree looped over my path and thought, how did that even happen? You know, you watch the stories on TV about Bigfoot, but this is how it happens. Snow. A lot of times the trees will have leaves on them. We get that first snow of the year, it weights the tree down, brings it over, bends it across the trail. I still want to believe though. I just haven't seen them yet. Right now it's just barely a trickle coming out of here. It's cool to see all the natural springs though, coming out of these rocks. Well, the GoPros are hating life this morning. The nine quit working altogether. And the 10, it's been chewing through a battery about every 15 minutes. So I think what I'm gonna do is just take this last two miles by myself and I'll see you back at the truck. Look at that, finally made it back. 
Well, I think five hours is just about long enough, which means we got this video in the bag. So I'll see you guys again next Tuesday. But until then, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.